athletic leukemia. Um, I was very young, and uh, the first round, I don't remember as much, but I actually had a relapse also, CNS relapse, mm -hmm. uh, with leukemia at all again. And um, that place is just amazing. Yeah. Um, the second round um, through leukemia is really what I remember the most. Mm -hmm. And it's, people here at hospital, like you said, you think it's going to be sterile, right. you think it's going to be um, kind of cold. Yes. But it is so warm and so, so welcoming, mm -hmm. and it makes you feel like at home. I mean, yeah. I call St. Jude's my second home, and it's it's been an amazing, amazing uh, place for us. And yeah. we still continue to try to go back and revisit it just because um, they've given so much to me. Yeah. And I, I would love to one day, you know, possibly pursue something there just to give back to them. See, that's what one of the things that you and Nicole and I were talking about earlier that I think is so amazing is you hear about these people who are like, well, I actually went to St. Jude. And you would think you went through having leukemia. You would think that the last place you'd ever want to go again was back to the hospital. But then you're like, no, I would love to go back to St. Jude. I want to go see it and work there and help other kids. I think that is so cool. So tell me a little bit about uh, what do you remember like? Because one of the things I loved was going into St. Jude. I thought it was so cool. The countertops are short. I thought that was amazing because they have the kids. You are a part of the entire process. It's not just like, we're going to talk to the parents over here about the scary stuff. You go play. It's like, no, we want you to know what's going on. Yeah, the biggest thing, the biggest focus there is, is the kids. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I remember the most is my, um, my, one of my physicians, one of my doctors, Dr. Sandlin. He's, mm -hmm. I believe he's still there. Um, he was very, very big on being married to the hospital, mm -hmm. married to the kids. Uh, I think until to this point, to this day, I believe he still may be single because he's married to the to the yeah. hospital, and he is just so much about the kids. And like you said, with the countertops and that kind of stuff, um, they cater to the kids first. Yeah. Um, the families, of course, are taken care of very, very well, but the kids, it's all about the kids. Partner Hope. So I would say the biggest reason for being a partner in Hope is to be able to provide that outlet for a family to help their child. Um, it has been such a blessing to our family. Mm -hmm. I can't even imagine. My parents were always there for me, yeah. 100%. But financially, I can't even imagine what the impact it would take on them right. now with um, once they get to the retirement age and that kind of thing, yeah. with medical bills. And Saint your parents Jude, don't have to worry about that. Right. And St. Jude allows that, that to happen. It allows them to enjoy the time with their child mm -hmm. during uh, that illness, that struggle, that time, um, and allows them to focus on the child and not so much on the